Okay, today's video we're going to show you how to clean up a junk set of carbs. Uh, hopefully yours are not junk, but these are totally junk. And you can see that. Uh, I bought these parts actually at a swap meet. Uh, we do not have any other parts or pieces to them. Uh, specifically just to show you guys how you can clean up these pieces, these parts. So we have a mix of materials here. You can see we have some plastic over here. We have some steel on the bottom. We have some more plastic in, inside here, some plastic bushings. We also have some brass on the sides here, uh, some of the screws. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show you how quick and easy this is. Uh, most people, again, would consider these junk uh, scrap parts. Uh, they would have no way to clean them up. And uh, we're gonna show you how you can clean this up. Uh, if you need to use these pieces and parts, you sure could. Uh, if you need these, contact me after we get done because I don't need them uh, at all. So again, purpose, show you how quick and easy this can be, how you can clean these pieces up, how they are not junk. Uh, just because they're junk to me does not mean they're junk to you. But again, different materials and how we can safely clean up every material on this piece. We're going to be using a very fine glass bead slurry to do this. It's going to be really fast. We're going to do one carb. We're going to do this carb and that's it. We're going to leave this other carb uh, for the before result and then of course the after. Again, this is a very powerful tool that you have in your shop. I don't care if you're a hobbyist or if you're a full-time shop. Everybody can benefit from this. Again, it's a tool. Uh, you have a MIG welder, a TIG welder in your shop, hopefully. You have a good air compressor. Uh, add a vapor blasting machine. It's going to save you a lot of hours cleaning up parts. And again, we're talking about cleaning, but we're also talking about finishing. You're going to finish this piece. It's going to look like an OEM part after we're done. You can tell right now it looks nowhere near an OEM part. It looks like a part that came out of the ocean and out of a junk bin at a swap meet. But we're going to quickly and easily clean this up, dust free, chemical free, and pain free. So let's get to it. Okay, we have our piece of junk carbs, uh, the main bodies here, they're still attached to the rail. And uh, we're going to clean these puppies up and make them look brand new again. I'm going to show you how it works on different metals here. Whether it's plastic, plastic bushings, brass, steel on the bottom, aluminum aluminum bodies. We're going to get the corrosion off of all these materials, all the gunk and debris. Uh, so let's get started here. It's going to take us a couple minutes. We're going to clean this car body up and I just want to point out these uh, normal problem areas for most people when you're glass beating um, or you're soda blasting. Uh, again, you know, just think about what you're doing here. Soda blasting is not going to compare to this. Uh, nor is glass beating. Nothing on the market is going to compare to what we're doing here. We're cleaning, we're finishing. Uh, you could also prep for paint, so you could be at a coating prep stage too. Uh, but we're gonna do cleaning and finishing here uh, in the same step. So we're gonna give it an OEM looking finish. Uh, it's gonna be something that your customer's gonna be pleased with or yourself you're gonna be pleased with if it's your parts or pieces that you're doing at home. So uh, let's uh, take a look and see how fast this is. Again, we're going to work with the right hand side carb only. Okay, that was steel first, and also this plastic bushing in here in the inside. Uh, look how fast and easy that was. We're going to keep going. I'm going to show you this brass uh, valve here. That's what you want to call it, flap. Here we go.
having a lot of fun here guys if you can't tell uh, look how fast and clean that is it's really hard to see in the light there again we're gonna continue here I'm gonna work on this plastic lever uh, normally people would be super afraid to blast this with a glass beating machine but let's clean it right up Yep, still intact. You can actually see choke on the lever there. Again, real quick and easy. We're cleaning all the parts and pieces up. Let's go ahead and continue here underneath the bottom bowl area. See how nasty it looks. Let's clean that up real quick and show you what it looks like. Saw how fast that was. You can actually see some brass here again. Whoa, look at that. There's some brass. See how clean it is? Really hard to see in the live, but there you go. We're gonna pull this out in a minute and you can see the entire picture, but super clean, very fast. Uh, what would you do with a tool like this in your shop? How much faster could you complete your projects? If you do six bikes a year right now as a hobby, you could do 12 or more just because you have this super fast and awesome tool and uh, just rinsing the water off or rinsing the abrasive off the window here. You can see the glass beads piling up on the floor. It means we have a good percentage of slurry in the machine or abrasive to water. Let's keep working on this body. I can go ahead and tell you right now, this type of aluminum is not gonna polish and shine up like some of the others. It's a different type. And you're going to come across that some, but let's hit this side. Uh, let's hit this nipple here. See what we can do. See if we can clean this up real quick for you. that fast Look how clean that is looks brand new again we're gonna make this entire carburetor look like this it's gonna probably take us about 10 minutes 15 minutes tops to do a really good job on this we're gonna make sure we touch every piece and area so I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna come right back and show you the entire finished piece but you can see how fast it is on all these different materials and how it does not damage plastic rubber brass steel and aluminum, so let's keep going. Back after blasting the car bodies, took us about five to 10 minutes tops. We didn't spend a lot of time on this piece, and you can really see the difference in finishes and results here. Before, after, you look in there, before and after. Let's kind of zoom in, see if you can see any better. This piece was heavily corroded. You can actually see that by the aluminum. You can see, uh, where it's really been eroded away uh, from all the corrosion. This part's been 
sitting for quite some time, but look at this bushing in here, this plastic bushing. Uh, we clean that piece up over in here is like a little bit of before. And uh, we clean this whole area, of course, the spring, the rotating nut assembly. All of the different substrates here, we have brass, we have plastic, we have steel, we have aluminum, of course. And it does a really good job on every individual piece. And look at the, uh, look at the nipples there. It's after. Here's a before. There's before and then after. How nice that is. And if you take a look closely in here, look at that rubber boot here. We'll try to zoom in and see if we can get it to focus. That boot is undamaged. We just cleaned around that piece. Let's see if I can get it to, uh, to focus. I apologize. It's not going to focus. There it is. Look how clean that is. That entire area. We did not damage the rubber. We did not damage the plastic, the brass, the steel. Look at that screw inside of there. Look how clean that is. And then on the bottom here, of course, I'm going to zoom out. Look at the brass. Look how it shines. And how clean and incredible this is. And the steel. So you have before over here. Before and then after. Look how nice and smooth and shiny the bolts are. And we're going to kind of move back here so you can see the bowl again. But how clean that is. It's exceptionally clean. It was really fast and easy to do. We did not damage any of these pieces. You can actually see the, the holes here in this jet, this main, main jet area where the needle actually travels through. Then one more piece I want to note, of course, all of the side area here with all of the steel, brass, and the plastic here. See how we did not damage that whatsoever. Look, you can actually still read it. It says choke. Viola. Guys, this is something you can do every single time with this machine. It's not hard. It's very easy. It's so easy a caveman could do it, believe it or not. With our instruction, you can get these machines set up. You can get them functioning properly. Every time and every day you can do this and make it enjoyable. Again, before, after, what an incredible result. Took us maybe five or ten minutes for the entire piece there. And this part would be ready for reassembly after you cleaned up the second carb bank here. But it shows you the broad array of options and substrates that you can clean, how easy and fast it is. And listen, guys, if you have a part that you want to, uh, to see blasted, send it in. We'll do it for you. We'll shoot a video. We'll be glad to do that. And, uh, hey, if you want to come in and see it too, our shop is open daily, 8 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give us a call and let us know when you're coming in. Shoot us an email. We'll be glad to show you the equipment we have set up. We have our full demo testing lab set up. A couple different options for you to use and see. Uh, again, if you want to send a part or piece in, you just want to see what it looks like. We'll be glad to shoot a video. But this is what you can do. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.